Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to welcome you to my video where today I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool little blog in about 20 minutes no matter what your skill level is. So just like all my other videos, if you've never built a blog before, that's totally fine because I'm going to be walking you guys through step by step. And I'm going to make everything super simple so your blog will be up before you know it. So before we get started, I just want to go over a couple of things and then we can get straight into building the blog. Hosting is where your blog is going to live online. It's where all your content is stored. All your photos, videos, and basically everything that's on your blog is stored there. Another way I like to explain hosting to people is like this. Think if you're going to build a house. Before you can actually start building the house, you would need the land to put the house on. So just try to think of the domain name as the house and the hosting as the land. Hosting normally costs anywhere from $60 to over $100 a year, sometimes more. But today I'm going to show you how we're going to get hosting for just $2 a month that also includes a free domain name and it has a special feature where it automatically installs WordPress for us, which is important because this is what we're going to be using to build our blog. Your domain name is the address of your blog. So for example, some domain names are ebay.com, youtube.com, google.com, you get the idea. Okay guys, so now we got all that covered, we can start building the actual blog now. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to my website and get our hosting discount. And the link to that page is createwpsite.com slash promo. And now we're just going to go over here and click on this GoDaddy coupon and it will automatically apply the discount for us. So now what we're going to do is get our free domain, set up our hosting, and do our one-click WordPress install. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is click on this green get started button. And this is where we're going to choose our free domain name. So whatever you want your website to be called, you can check here to see if it's available. And once you decide on a name, you can just enter it here. I'm going to enter mine. And now I'm going to click on search to see if it's available. Okay, it is. So I'm going to click on select and continue. And as you can see, our promo code has been applied to our entire year of hosting. So we got the discount, which is cool. And now we're just going to click on create account. All right, and now we're going to fill out this form for our GoDaddy account. And some of this information is going to be blurred out just for privacy reasons, obviously. But all we're going to do is enter our email address. If you don't have one, I just recommend maybe going to Google and signing up for a free Gmail account. And then you're going to come up with a username and a password and then also a PIN number. And these can be anything you want. Just make sure you guys save all this info somewhere. So when you need to log into GoDaddy, you can. So now I'm just going to enter in my information. Okay, and then after we have all that filled out, we're just going to click this green create account button. Okay, and now I'm just going to put my billing info in. All right, and once that's all done, we can go ahead and click on Save. Okay, and now I'm going to be using a card to pay. They also have PayPal, too. You guys can choose any method you like, though. They'll all take us to the same place in the end, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. All right, and now my payment info is in, so I'm just going to click on this blue Save button. And then we're ready to complete the purchase, so we're just going to click on this green button here. Alright guys, and that's it. We got our hosting now, and we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so what we're going to do now is click on this blue Add Site button. And then we're just going to leave everything like it is, build a brand new site, and then wherever it's recommended, you can just uh, put it there. And now we're going to uh, come up with a WordPress username and password. So just like for the other stuff, just come up with a username and a password and then uh, make sure you save that information somewhere. Okay, and then after you do that, you can just click on Add. And this is just currently installing WordPress for us. 
All right, and that's it. WordPress is installed. That's the uh, simple one-click WordPress install right there for you. And uh, now we're just going to click on this blue WP Admin button. And then once we get to this page, just go ahead and click on No Thanks. And that will just automatically take you to your WordPress dashboard. And this is the place where you go whenever you want to edit your site. Okay guys, so before we do anything, we're going to go verify our email from GoDaddy. And so we're just going to go to our email accounts. And there should be a uh, email from GoDaddy that says, uh, please verify your email address. And here's mine. And just click on verify email now. Okay, and that's it. It's been um, verified. Okay, now I'm back over on my WordPress dashboard, and I'm just going to refresh this page right here. And then after you do that, where it says no, just click on change domain. And now click on add domain. And find your uh, domain right here. Mine's already selected. And uh, make sure this is selected. Uh, it says make this primary domain for the account. And then after you have everything selected, hit uh, add. Okay, and we're just going to wait on this to update. Just take a couple minutes. All right, now that's been updated. And what that just did is change the uh, location of everything that we're going to be making on our WordPress website. So it's no longer to uh, this FTP upload site. It's now going to all be on our main domain. Okay guys, and now I'm going to show you how you log into your WordPress account anytime you need to edit something on your site. So what we're going to do is uh, open up a new tab and then you're going to take your website and you're going to put it in and then you're going to put slash WP dash admin after the dot com or dot net whatever your uh, domain is and then after that click enter and then when it comes up here all you do is uh, put in your account information that you created earlier. So again, it's just your domain name slash WP dash admin anytime you want to log into your WordPress account. All right, so I just put my information in. Now I'm just going to click log in. And now this will take us right back to the WordPress dashboard. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go over here to appearance and then we're going to click on themes. And this is where we're going to install our WordPress theme. So we're going to go over here to add new theme. And this is where all the different um, WordPress templates are that you guys can choose from. But we're actually going to go over here to the search box here and we're going to type in receptor. And then this is the theme we want. And now we're just going to click on install. Then we're going to click on activate. Okay, and now our theme has been activated. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to settings and then we're going to click on general. This is where we're going to edit some of our site info. So now I'm just going to edit my title and tagline. And so now after that's done, we're just going to scroll down here and click on save changes. All right, so now that that's saved, what we're going to do is go to our website's homepage. And to do that, we're just going to click up here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to edit our header image. And to do that, we're going to go over here to customize. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to click on header image. Then we're going to click on add new image and then I'm just going to drop my header image here. Then I'm going to click select and crop.
Okay, now once that's done, you're just going to go over here and click on Publish. And by the way, if you guys need any stock photos to use for your website, if you go to this website called Pexels.com, you can find tons of free images to use and they're completely free. Okay, so now that that header has been saved, I'm just going to go back over here. And if you guys see all this stuff right here, this is where you can go and edit any of these things here. Alright guys, and so after that's been saved, I'm just going to go over here. And now I'm going to click on theme options. And then I'm going to go up here to color accents. And this is where you change the color of this right here. You guys don't have to change it. I'm just going to change it to a different color. Okay, so I got my color now, and I'm just going to click on Publish. Okay, now we're just going to close this, and we're going to go over here and go back to our dashboard. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start adding some posts. So we're going to go right over here to the post section, and you'll see that there's already one up right here. This is just the demo one that comes with uh, WordPress once you install it. So we're actually going to get rid of this. This is how you delete any um, posts that you don't want anymore. I'm going to come up here where it says bulk actions. We're going to click on this arrow. Then we're going to click move to trash. Then we're going to hit apply. And that's how you get rid of a post. So now what we're going to do is click on the add new button. Okay, so this is our post section, and this is where you add the title for your post, and then this is where all the content goes here. Okay, so I just put in some of my content right here, and if you guys want to add other things like uh, images or other media, just click on this add block, and you can see all these different things you can add right here. If you want to do an image or audio, whatever you want, it's all right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is add a featured image for this post. So to do that, we're going to go to Featured Image, and then click Set Featured Image. Then we're going to click on Upload Files. Then I'm just going to drop my first image here. And also to the image size, I found that works best with these featured images for this theme is 1024 by 1024 and if you guys use the site that I recommended pexels.com to get your free stock photos from you can actually put in if you click on custom size you can put in 1024 by 1024 and that'll give you the exact dimensions for each photo that we're using for in this theme so now I'm just going to click on select and now that featured image has been inserted and now we're just going to go up here now because the post is done and we're going to click on publish. Then we're going to click on publish again. And now we're just going to click on view post to see what it looks like. Okay, and that's our first post right here. And this is how it looks from the website's homepage. So now I'm going to go back over here to my dashboard and I'm going to go back to the post section. And now I'm going to add in nine other posts the same way that I did for this last post. I added the title and then I put in some uh, content and then I added a featured image. So again, I'm going to go and do this nine times for nine different posts and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just finished putting up my last post and this is what they look like now. That's with all ten of them up. And something else that I wanted to mention too within these posts are if you want to add categories to your post so you can separate them, all you have to do is go over to categories and you'll see right now it's in the uncategorized section, but you can also add a new category. So for example, I'm just going to add a few. Okay, so I just added in some more categories here, and I just put this one in its correct category. So now after I did that, I'm just going to come up here, and I'm going to click on Update. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add some pages to our website. So we're just going to go over to Pages, and then we're going to click on Add New. 
And now these are the same thing as the post. You just add a title and then you can put your content under here. So I'm just going to add my title here for my page. And then you guys can set a featured image if you want. I'm not going to though just because it's a page instead of a post. And then after your page is done, you have everything you want on it, just click on publish. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to add two more pages and then I'll be back. All right, so I just added my two other pages here. So now what we're going to do after that is go over to appearance and then we're going to click on menus. And then once we get here, we're going to create a menu and you can name it anything you want. I'm just going to name it as menu one. Once you do that, click create menu right there. Then go over here and select the pages that you want to show up on the menu. Then once you do that, click on add to menu. And then you can rearrange them any way you want by going like this. You can also add them into subcategories by just moving them over to the side like that. And don't forget to select this right here that says primary menu. And now click on save menu. Okay, so now if we go to our website and we click over here, we'll see that that's where our pages are that we just set up in our menu section. All right, guys, so that's going to bring us to the end of the video here. We got our whole blog set up with all our posts. Now what you guys need to do is just go and add your own content in. So I hope you guys like this video and uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and if you have a question or a comment, you can leave it down below in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.